A second reason that we study conflict is that life will not hunt you down and drop healthy conflict management skills in your toolbox. It just won't do it. You've got to go after it. You've got to go get it. Relevant escalation, enough escalation so that it actually gets on the table, meaning it becomes important enough to everybody who's involved to actually deal with it. There needs to be that much escalation, not more. We don't need gratuitous escalation. We don't need things thrown against the wall or people throwing out windows. We just need enough escalation to get people to the table. Now part of why this is so difficult for us is that many of the conflicts we enter into, they connect to our innards. They trigger things in us that are related to our past and to past relationships and to past complexes that we're kind of dragging with us. And so this can be really horrifying sometimes to think about getting in this space with this person to manage this conflict. This, this bottle could represent the content in between us. And you may want this bottle and I may want this bottle, okay? And so we're having a, we're having a conflict over an object or content, something like using the room, the room space, availability of the room or of a certain resource, okay? So if we come into the conflict and I'm aware that what you're really bothered about is how this bottle is utilized. Do I get it? Do you get it? Does it have to sit over here? and it takes approximately 90 minutes to climb Conflict Mountain, have the appropriate amount of escalation, deal with certain things like the, the retaliatory cycle where you're retaliating and back and forth, that's all part of it. You gotta get that out there. It's some, it might feel a little bit white knuckled at times, like, whoa, what'd you say, are you kidding me? And, but it's, it, there's something magical about allowing a certain amount of escalation over a certain period of time that much of the time you will get a breakthrough. And there's a lot of factors I don't have time to go into now, psychologically and physiologically and socially, about why this time and escalation factor forces a breakthrough. But it has to do with things about uh, catharsis, you know, and, and having opportunity, and fatigue even. Even fatigue plays a role in allowing it to play out. But many of the times when we say, oh, we've dealt with that, we've talked about it and it didn't work, we, well, you know, maybe you had a seven minute conversation ended in a flaring, you know, getting shot down over the sea and then you're just like, see that wasn't really conflict management. If we begin to understand that somebody's coming to a process and what's most important to them is who are they in this process? How will they be either hurt, you know, harmed or repaired? Then there are certain things you can say. There are ways that you can approach that that can really quiet and de-escalate that person's huge need to save face. Because when we understand that somebody gets that about us, they understand that and they speak into it either directly or indirectly, there's something subconsciously in us that's like, okay, they get it. I don't have to just ramp up.